Steve Morrison. I am the drum tech for Tommy Lee and Motley Crue, C-R-U-E, and I am the drummer and band leader for the crew, C-R-E-W. Every other day when we're, I think when we're opening on this co-headlining thing with Def Leppard, when we're opening, we have the time and where the gear is placed to do just one song. We don't take up anybody's time more than that. Um, we had one rehearsal in Malmo, Sweden uh, a few weeks ago. Maybe it was probably a month ago now at this point. So, um, you know, now here we are at, at the world famous John Henry's uh, the day before we play the world famous Underworld. When we settled in four bars into the song, that was it. We were in a Yeah, you know the top, top of wow, the very top of the song, tight because it gets washy between. So just go high hat and golden, huh? Beautiful. Cool. With okay. it. Done. Done. Yeah. It's kind of yeah, soupy. Very soupy. That was awesome. Good stuff. I, I didn't mean to step on you, I was trying to get oh, down to a ready. harmony. Oh, you know I'm going to lose, I can't believe it's my food, but that's the way I like it, baby, I don't want to live forever. And don't forget to do that. So my name's Casey, and I'm the singer of the crew. The origin of this band really kind of just came organically. One day we were at Production Park and the boys had posted a video of them playing a bunch of music. And I kind of just jokingly said, hey, if there's a microphone available, I'll, I'll happily step in and, uh, and jump in. Uh, we ended up doing a version of Sad But True. And we did Sad But True by Metallica. We had a good time, nobody thought anything of it, but Steve-O likes to, Steve-O our drummer, uh, and also Tommy Lee's drum tech, likes to post things on video, uh, on Instagram. Uh, he's very good on social media. And uh, the band picked it up. And so the band was really excited about the fact that we had formed a band. Uh, and then the idea of this club gig popped up, and next thing you knew it was, hey, would you guys be willing to open? Um, and I don't think any of us even thought twice, so. <laughs> that one's gonna be great like that, just a burner, whatever. Yeah, my bad on that. It was oh, fun, that's, man. That was great. We were laughing too hard. Yeah, it was just well, too much fun. Well, you hit the drums, and I was yeah, like, wait a second, we I don't hear <laughs> We were we were running. We were, yeah. we were, it got faster. Oh yeah! Like, after, the, after the after the guitar oh, solo, everybody dude. went. I know how they created a click track. <laughs> <laughs> you ever remember Travis Barker's click? Oh, oh it's great. fucking that drum man, it's insane. <laughs> Uh, David Bella. Um, I'm the guitar tech for Motley Crue, or specifically uh, John Five and Vince Neil. Rehearsal for the South American tour, so way back last year. Hit it off with Steve-O, um, just met Fred, and um, Steve-O made a joke about, um, oh, we should jam on something, um, because at random times Fred would play little snippets of tunes here and there, and then we'd feed off each other and I'd place the answer to that rock song, meaning I, I would play the guitar part or the lead or something. And then eventually Steve-O said, we should jam on something. And then, um, yeah, the rest is kind of history. And then we just started jamming and we gelled pretty well. I swear, I'll the I, sure, I, sure, I swear it won't take this long. Uh, oh, it's, it's a guitar change. I'm just teasing you. Number eight, tight. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna tight. keep it nice and nice and tight. Short notes. Short notes. Are ready? Everybody, short notes. <laughs> I haven't been here for, for many years, but I actually met, this is a spot where I met Ozzy for the first time. We were with Black Label and we got our own, we did our own props, we did everything back in Black Label ourselves. But it was on this spot and I had a blowtorch and a skull, like like a skeleton, yeah. and we're sitting there burning them. And fucking, and Ozzy comes walking by and he's like, and he walks by and he goes and tells Zach, he goes, 
Dude, what's the problem with the guy out there? He's more fucked up than I am. <laughs> okay, because I had this, I was just enjoying my work, just burning this yeah. medical skeleton, man. We had a good time, but I was laughing. Like, that's why I came around the corner and I, I got to look at this spot. That's cool. I'm Fred Koala. I, uh, I play bass in the band. Uh, I'm a bass tech by trade, and one day I. God decided to give me the chance to, to play bass in front of people again, so I'm all happy. <laughs> From the beginning when I when I joined uh, Motley Crue's crew, Steve and I always talked about, you know, let's play together, let's play together, let's play together. And uh, so it's fun to have a, a, a crew band that plays can play songs. On the days that we have time to, uh, to actually rehearse on stage, you're really under pressure when you're up there and uh, you've got big empty space on a giant stage with a full sound PA you know the people are outside the gates and they're listening and you clam it's the worst you know it's a lot of pressure and you like see like the rando stage hands in the front going you suck we're at John Henry's today we had a, another place in Sweden and uh, tomorrow's the big day so we better be ready Talking to shit. <laughs> Thank you, Viggy. Go for it. How's things going? Uh, I think things are going really well. Um, yeah, I think yeah. my inexperience as a uh, uh, as a true vocalist with a band behind him, I didn't. Uh, I, I just wasn't warmed up enough. So we went through a couple rounds, and I think what I feel is strained is actually warmed up. Um, and I think the truth is in kind of what the what we've done the last two times. I think the sound is really good. Um, we found a nice little harmony pairing with Steve-O and I, which is awesome. Um, you know, steve kind of, he's had to kind of lead us from a musical perspective. He's got the most experience in bands. Um, but, you know, David's, David's incredible. Um, he's a quick learner, and Fred's, Fred's awesome. Fred's like the quintessential bass player. He's awesome. So um, I think things are going really well. I really do. Uh, I'm excited about tomorrow, and um, I'm certainly tired, but I think that that's the price you got to pay to put on a good show, and I think we're going to put on a good show. So that's what I'm excited about. Yeah, it's going to be a great show. Yeah. <laughs> this is the after party. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, this is the after party. <laughs> the after party. <laughs> 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 to mute all that shit over there. You pulling it? Oh, are you guys ready to go? You want to play again? Well, before we, I mean, if you're taking it with you, yeah, we want to do one more. Oh, no, I know. I thought you guys were done. I'll stick around. No, if we can do one more run, yeah, that'll yeah. be good. I think that's all we can do is just one more run through. Yes, everyone? Keep it fresh. Keep it fresh. Keep it sexy. Keep it sexy. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it Super proud of my guys. You know, they're uh, not that I call them my guys, but they're my guys here, and uh, they fucking learn their parts. And you know, we're excited. You know, the big vigs out. You know, helping us with lyrics, and um, we're we're almost finished. We got one more run through. This has been quite the fucking day, my man.
waiting. It's cool. Yeah. Sorry. You good? Drummers. Good. So temperamental. Love you. Good. Love you. Good. Love you. Good. Love you. I'm going to do the whole set again. Love you. Get the fuck Thank out. you, Brent. Thank, Thank you, Scott. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everybody. We're doing it right up in here. Hey, step right on into our entry 4A. If you just step around that side table, though, you come right in here to the kitchen, living room, bathroom, Everything. and dining room. How are you guys feeling about the show? Good. 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 I think that's a great way to do it. Great answer, it. Steve. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're gonna, you're gonna <laughs> if you're looking for more substance, uh, I think that. We were pleasantly surprised and happy with how yesterday ended, and Soundcheck only reaffirmed how much work we put in. And sure. I think we're very, very excited to, to really show off what we can do tonight. Um, so yeah, I think the, the crew, Motley crew, whatever the fuck you want to call us, we're ready to go, so. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun one. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. You got anything to say before we do the pre-show, hump? Just fuck it, let's just have some let's fucking fun. Let's have some fun. Yeah. Let's <laughs> fucking... Ah, oh, you fucking homos. Ah, yeah. Fuck it up tonight, man. Hey, have fun. I love God, you. I have a lot of fucking work. You have fun. You put in a lot of work. You put in a lot of fucking work. Let's go. Let's do it. Should I play ready? No, we're about to. All right. So yeah, a little bit about us, uh, our, uh, our string changer over there, uh, David Vela, kick ass, yeah baby, kick ass guitar player, kick -ass guitar player. we love having him. Right behind me here is uh, Dr. Steve Morrison. Steve's been in more bands than most of the guys in Motley Crue, so... Uh, and we got Fred, where the fuck is my camera koala over here, so um, things are looking good for us, and that's who we are. My name's Casey. I don't technically work for Motley Crue, but I feel like part of the family, and I appreciate them letting me play a lot of this.